Hi, it's Neil from Mighty Little Green Machine. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to try and undo something that I did. Um, in one of my videos where I was cutting wood and moving the logs, I had set the, my chainsaw up on the, the hill behind me, thought it was safe, and when I was done, realized that I had backed into it with the backhoe and had, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but the bar now comes up this way. So I'm going to try and straighten it today. Um, I don't know if I can or I can't. I don't really want to buy another bar. It wasn't horribly expensive, but I figure I've got nothing to lose. So let's get started. Okay, so before I take the bar off, you can see all the debris stuffed up in there. And I'm going to try and get you above to see. I don't know. You can kind of see it goes out and around. See how it comes down? So that's what I'm up against. Okay, so we'll start by removing our nuts here. I mean, uh, if I sound different, it's because I haven't been feeling good lately. I've got a cold. And it's been kicking my butt been hard to get myself to the energy to even make a video but I figured this one was in the garage and it's semi-warm although I am wearing my slippers right now and uh, this floor is cold on my feet I might have to put real shoes on Oof. what the heck was that Oh, that was actually an acorn down inside there. Okay, let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, yeah. It's not supposed to look like that. Looks like... So here's the key. I've got to try and straighten this without pinching the rail for the chain to run in. And I just don't know. Oh, it's got to twist this way, too. I think I'm going to try this in the vise first. See if I can get some of the twist out of it. So let's spin us over here. Let's see how this goes. So what I'm going to do is keep the ends away from this. Okay, that's got a very good bend to it. Yeah, let's see if I can move this down and do some more. That's not horrible. This is still out. Let's see if I can just spring this back a little bit. Getting close. Might be able to fix this after all. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I've still got too much twist here. So far, my channels look good. Don't know. See the, I could hit it on the anvil here, but I don't know if that's going to... <sighs> Try and use the bar itself as leverage. That didn't sound good. It 
it's close but if you look it's still got a a hoopty here and i don't know it's really off still I don't even know what kind of metal this is. It almost looks like stainless, but I wanted to use like a rubber mallet, but or a dead blow, but that doesn't seem to be wanting to work. Or I can't find it. I don't know. I mean, it's getting close. It's definitely not perfect. I don't know if the chain will stay on it. And here's my other problem. I don't know if it's going <sighs> to... Prematurely wear it? It's got like an S to it now. See if I can tighten this more. Get some straightness out of it. Problem is that the steel is really springy. So it doesn't want to stay in the new shape. Yeah, I think this thing's a goner. Starting to see the rivets through it, stuff like that. Probably could cut with it in a pinch. Problem is I like this size bar, it's 28, so I'm going to have to buy another one. I don't know. I might try running it. I got nothing to lose. Worst case, it doesn't work. Let's try putting it back together. Oh, you're so bad still. I don't know. The other question now is, can I get the chain into... Okay, so I don't know. I think what I'll do is I'll try cutting some wood with it. If it works okay, I'll buy a new 28. Um, and then I'll just keep this as an absolute spare in case something goes, you know, if I totally destroy a bar and I'm still cutting. The thing is, I've, I've got my 36 for this saw, and I do want to get a 32 for this saw, and I still want to buy another saw. Um... My Johnsard has a um, 24 on it. I'd like to get a 20 for that. And then get the saw in the middle of these two. So this one's a 395. They make a... Uh, well, that seems okay. So this is 95 cc's. They make, I think it's a 372 to 72 cc's, which is, and then my Johnsard is a 60 something. So I'd have kind of three different options. And then my Limming saw. Okay.
Okay. I think that'll be okay. It's not the best it's ever been, but the good news is I'll be able to cut around corners now. Ah. So if you have more equipment or maybe more skills than I, maybe you could straighten one of these bars better with what i've got and maybe if i put a little more time into it i might be able to get a little bit better but it doesn't quite straighten it perfect i think it's usable but i like i said i certainly wouldn't want to use it as my main my main bar um and i just don't know i wouldn't heat it or anything because i just don't know uh, so we're going to give that a shot next time i'm cutting with it i'll tell you how it works out because I don't have the energy to go cut today. But that's what that is. So I uh, appreciate you hanging in there with me to do this little project. It's always fun to have you along when I'm doing things. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll see you next time on Mighty Little Green Machine.